Hey, good morning. Yes, sir. The word still works. You know, I told you yesterday about having the word that came from God, what I thought it was in my spirit, man, when I was getting dressed. And what I heard was uh, my days of poverty and lack are over. And I said, whoa, whoa, this, if God speaks this to me, he would be saying your days. So I said, what about that? And the Lord spoke to me and said, that's the problem with my people is they're wanting me to carry the weight of saying it rather than them saying what I said. <clears throat> now watch this. God said to Abram, you'll be called Abraham, which means daddy, father of many, said to Sarai, you'll be called Sarah. They had to use those words. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I can see Sarah waking up in the morning saying, uh, good morning, daddy. And he would think, hey, I'm nearly a hundred years old, man. And you know, my body's dead. He'd say, well, hey, woman, hey, wife, hey, mother of many. Well, that renewed their bodies so that their bodies was able to produce a miracle. Now, I want you to get this. You don't need to wait to go to a healing meeting for somebody to pronounce you healed. You need to pronounce yourself healed according to the Word of God. I told you this several weeks ago. Jesus said in Matthew, homologio is the Greek word that if you'll say what I say before man, that word there, you read it in the King James, if you confess me before men, that means if you'll say the same thing that I say about you before men, then I'll say what you say before my father. Now watch this. Jesus himself became poor to make me rich. I could say it this way, to make you rich, but I'm talking about me. What I've got to do is say, well, I'm rich. I don't look rich. And so when Pat gets up in the morning, just like Sarah would say, hey, daddy, she needs to go, hey, rich man, because I'm in agreement with God's word. Therefore, Jesus is going to say what I say. So my bills are paid. I'm rich. My body's well. I don't have to have a word from God at a prophetic meeting. I need the word of God and believe what it says. I've been doing some teaching on the blood of the lamb. It's great stuff. Watch this. When God told the children of Israel to stay in the house and put the blood over the doorpost and the lintel, uh, he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you and I will not uh, allow the destroyer to come into your house. Now they couldn't see the blood. They had to believe what the word said about the blood. It didn't matter how good they were. It didn't matter how bad they were. It didn't matter if they went to church or not. It didn't matter if they were rich or poor. It didn't matter if they were sick or, or, or not sick. The point is, he said, you're going to have what you believe. They had to believe what the word said about the power of the blood. You're going to have to believe what the word says and then start boldly confessing it because that's where the power of God's released. Hey, I got to go. I'll talk to you again later on today. But remember, the power is in the word that's released out of your mouth. Have a great day. Jesus is Lord. Yes, sir. That word works.